Welcome to my parameter store web series folks. If you have been following my video, you will understand why you need to use parameter store in your account to have a centralized management way for your secrets or your passwords in AWS. First we saw what, why the need for parameter store. Then we saw how to create those parameters. If you're not familiar with parameter store, go ahead and watch them and come back here. In today's video, we will see how to control the access to those parameters by using IAM policies. We will say some users will have access to a certain keys and some users will have access to just view the keys and not to make changes or delete permissions for those keys. So all these fine grained permissions are possible through IAM. So first we are going to our parameter store dashboard and see what keys we have there. Here I am in the parameter store dashboard. I have filtered for the API keys and you can see there there are two keys called as API key and API key for version two. And you can see both of them are encrypted with the default AM KMS for my account. And I'm going to create an user who will have access only to this key. And then we will see how we can restrict the access to the other keys like this one. So I have created a dummy user in my account. Here I am in the IAM dashboard. You can see here the username is dummy user for testing and I have not given any permissions for this user. As you can see here, it says get started with permissions and there are no other permissions added here. And I will log into the CLI with this user and let us go ahead and try and pull in the this parameter that is called as API key and see if this user is able to access it without any permissions now. So let us go ahead and get the parameters AWS SSM get parameter and the name is API hyphen key and we should be getting an error when you try to execute this command without any permissions. So now we established that this user doesn't have any permissions. Let us go ahead and add some permissions for this user. So for this user come to the permission section and you see here it says add inline policy. Let us go ahead and add an inline policy. The first thing is we need to give this user permissions to pull the SSM parameters. So under the service of SSM and we are going to say get parameter for this user. And we have this get parameter action and then I'm going to restrict this user to the particular key which is called as API key and I'm going to say specific and click on add ARN and put in the region. And for now, I'm just going to give the account number here as any, but if you want, we can go ahead and modify that from your account ARN or from your account number that will be visible in your IAM dashboard. So here I'm going to give the name as API key and then click on add and click on review policy. Now you see here this user will have get parameter privileges only but no access to the KMS keys to decrypt the keys. So this user should not be able to access the parameter that was created because they have, don't have the complete privileges also. So I'm just going to click on review and say I'm going to save this policy custom policy policy for IAM restricted access to parameter store. That's the name I'm going to give this for a policy click on create policy. So now the user has this policy attached. Let us go to our dashboard that is the CLI and see if the user can pull it and remember this user still doesn't have a KMS access. So let us go ahead and execute the same command again here. And we should be getting an error saying we don't have the necessary privileges to get the access. So let us go ahead and add the KMS permissions also for this user now. Come again here, click on edit policy and we are going to add the KMS now. And since we need only for decrypting the keys, I'm just going to give a very specific privileges for this user now. And that privilege is nothing but decrypt keys and go ahead and add the ARN. Once again, I'm just going to put the region. And for account, I'm just going to put the whole account. And then for key ID, if you're not sure what is the key ID, then you can go to the parameter store. And if you select the key that you are interested in and Amazon will show you the key ID as well here. So you can go ahead and copy that and put in your in the policy. So I'm just going to remove the extra characters here. Just go and click on add and click on add review policy and then save changes. 
So now that this policy has been set, the user should be able to access the key now. So I'm just going to have some space here and then pull in the key value now. And here you see that the user is able to access the key and see whether, let us see whether the user can decrypt the key also. I'm just going to say with decryption. And here you go. Now you are able to access the key as well as decrypt the keys. So let me try ahead and then go ahead and see if I can pull any other key information. So this user typically doesn't have permissions to any other key in my account. He has only access to the API key and privileges to decrypt only with the KMS of the alias key that we have. So that is how you create a fine grained policy so that your user will have certain privileges only by playing around with the policy of dashboard that you have in IAM, you should be able to restrict an user or give a more wide range of permissions as well. So if you have any problem in setting it up in your account, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you with them. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can configure SSM parameter store and pull those values or secrets in your Lambda functions and give access to the Lambda functions also to that they will decrypt the keys and display them in your API gateway as well. So thanks for watching. Happy learning.